my my um what what hello sir did you not bring glacier or did you misclick i'm so confused what is the what is the intention here what's up guys welcome back to the channel and welcome to another episode of boost to the top today i'll be using a team composition that i have talked down about and frankly i was wrong i will admit i was wrong about this some of you guys have been asking me for days even weeks to use this team on boost to the top well we're using Regigigas Weezing. Now the team was used by Alex Collins to go 5-0 in week one of Players' Cup, which is very impressive. Uh, and also, it was built by Shade Kirby 321 The pace for the team as well as the uh, rental code will be in the description down below. But if you guys also want to check something out in the description down below, there is a link to a Tiltify campaign uh, for a tournament that me and a whole bunch of other streamers will be participating in to raise money for mental health awareness for a charity called Checkpoint. That's a really great cause, so do me a favor, donate to that if you are able to. And let's go ahead and get into the video. Leave a like if you enjoy it, turn on notifications, subscribe to the channel, do all that. Every single like is really important, uh, so if you can help me reach 200, that'd be phenomenal. But I accidentally recorded a battle that I just won, mind you. I won, I, I promise. There you go, that's proof that I won. Uh, with the team, it's really gross. This team is probably the best one I've seen so far of any Regigigas Weezing teams. Uh, and that's just because it's it's just built so disgustingly offensive. It's meant to bust a hole in the game uh, for like the first couple of turns and then just clean up with other offensive threats. So you can see it on screen. This team gets absolutely tossed up. This entire team is, th th their entire team is so ability dependent that Regigigas Weezing just tosses them up. Uh, we'll bring Urshifu in the back. It's Choice Band Urshifu, so it kind of beats everything. And wow, actually, do I just lead off Urshifu? Maybe I, maybe I don't. No, I actually, I just toss up the team regardless. Because this is Taunt Weezing. So he can't set up a Trick Room if he wanted to. I think my last Pokemon is just going to be Rotom Heat. Yeah. This is going to be a really gross team. <laughs> I, I've already used it. This team in particular. This Regigigas Weezing team, I will say is really gross. I'll stand by the fact that I don't think this is an absolutely busted team combination. Uh, a lot of people were expecting Regigigas Weezing to be like, Wow, anyone can use it and just, you know, clean up. And I'm like, no, nah, no, nah. if you're a bad player, you're not going to succeed with it. A lot of people know how to play around it. Like, I haven't lost to this team composition yet, Regigigas Weezing. But, I don't know. A lot of people, if they're unprepared, will lose to it. This, for example, is a great situ a situation to be in. Uh, they're probably going to want to try to fake out the Regigigas. So I'll go for my free KO here. I'll go for my max strike onto that, uh, <laughs> onto that Kangaskhan. And I'll try to get this taunt off on the on the dust clops. All right, let me make sure I'm actually recording in-game audio because the other day I messed up and I wasn't recording and it was bad. All right. As we see him actually goes, he actually goes for the fake out into the correct Pokemon. Good play by him. So they're probably going to get their Trick Room off, but I don't know if I really care. I still have a full health Regigigas on the field, and whatever they bring in is probably subject to just getting knocked out. Especially since I have Will-O-Wisp on this Weezing. It's not terrible. If they bring in the Glacier, it's more likely than not that they'll just go for the, uh, they'll just go for the attack onto my Regigigas. And I am Focus Ash, so I can survive. Oh no, I can't, because he actually went for the fake out. Let's see, Glacier comes out. Oh no, it's Primarina. Okay, I can live with that. Uh, Primarina doesn't take this hit either, so we'll just go for the Protect here. Go for another Max Strike. I mean, I could be burned. I could be burned, that is true. But I don't know if I really care. Because it's still doing a lot of damage. Like, like, what's the difference? I go from having, I go from not having Slow Start to having Slow Start again, pretty much. So it's still decent. I would bring in the Tapu Finny right here, but then I would lose my, my, um, what, what? Hello, sir? Did you not bring Glacier or did you misclick? I'm so confused. What is the, what is the intention here? Has he given up? Because he should have always tried to go for a burn there, right? He should have always tried to go for the burn. Max Phantasm. Ooh, spooky. Wow. Okay. I'm so confused. That was a crit, too. That's funny. 
I was wondering why I did so much behind Protect. And by so much, I mean so much for a Dusclops. Okay. Well, goodbye, Pre-Marina. <laughs> goodbye. I mean, if they have Glacier, now it isn't really an issue. No, it's Colossal. Okay, well, I'm just going to go ahead and Max Quack. I will Max Quack. And uh, I guess I'll just go for the Will-O-Wisp onto that guy. He's not really an issue. Like, I'm not really concerned about... <laughs> I'm not really concerned about that Dusclops anymore. And Weezing's a pretty physically defensive Pokemon. If they're running physical for some reason, I should take it. He goes for the... Oh, wow. Is that just full offensive Dusclops? That did more than I expected. No, he just crit twice. That's it. Okay. Shout out to Dusclops. I mean, I guess that move is Brick Break. And he is running Flare Blitz. Oh, he got rid of the Weezing. Or he got rid of the Regigigas. That's fine. That's so strange. <laughs> yeah, that crit... Uh, I will say that crit probably mattered. But I don't think I'm at all in a losing position. Because I just have to stall out this Trick Room. And I do have a Tapu Fini, so like... Oh no, I have a Rotom. All I really have to do is bring an Urshifu in the endgame and I should be able to win. How many turns of Trick Room are left? Two turns. Alright. Um, I'll go ahead and just start chipping away at this guy, because he's really the only thing I fear. And I suppose I'll go for a Protect here. There's the Max Phantasm. On to Weezing. If Weezing survives this turn, I'm in a pretty good spot. He's probably going to rock slide, right? There's the Frisk. He now knows I'm Citrus Berry. Getting the Urshifu. I can lock myself into Wicked Blow pretty safely here. I think Choice Band Wicked Blow will knock out the uh, the Colossal from this range. And Colossal is all I really have to worry about. So I'll Wicked Blow here as well as Thunderbolt. This is a lot closer than I expected. This is definitely a lot closer than I expected for how it went in the beginning. There's the Brick Break. Ow. That actually did a lot. Rock Slide, that shouldn't KO me, uh, KO me as long as I don't flinch, I'm fine. Oh, well, we flinched. Now I really have to hope Choice Band Wicked Blow KOs, because if it doesn't, I lose. Okay. My opponent definitely got really lucky here, um, <laughs> and that hurts to say because I don't like blaming my opponent's luck on them winning, but I will say a lot of things went their way. I think Choice Band Wicked Blow should do it from this range. He doesn't have the option of protecting. Yeah, okay, we win. Because he can't KO me with Brick Break unless he crits, which, I mean, considering how many times they've crit so far. <laughs> it, it wasn't out of the realm of possibility. Okay, and now my choice fan Wicked Blow will knock out their Dust Clops. That was a lot closer than I anticipated it being. Alright, nice. So we managed to not get cheesed out of that. And let's go ahead and continue. By the way, guys, tomorrow I'll be having my first ad spot in the video. It'll be a, it'll be a sponsored video, right? And this is actually a sponsorship that is like from a product. It's it's like a small business technically, but it's like it's an app, right? 
but it's it's not like a mobile game app. It's actually an app relevant to us, and it's someone. It's an app made by someone that I think worked really hard in it, and I actually beta tested the app. A lot of you guys might already know what I'm talking about and have been asking when it releases. So expect that tomorrow. I'm, I'm recording a little skit for it, and I'm just editing it right now, actually. So it should be fun. This team is another one that kind of gets tossed up by Regigigas wheezing on lead. Um, I should be able to mess up that Naya Ligo. And I think I always bring Rotom in the back. And I kind of want to bring Reggie Alecki because they have so many things weak to it. But I'm kind of concerned that if I don't take out Garchomp, I won't be able to go in with Reggie Alecki. Maybe Tapu Fini is better overall, but I'm willing to risk it. This is a full offensive Reggie Lucky, by the way. It's max special attack magnet. It's kind of gross. The entire point of this team is just blowing a hole open in their most defensive Pokemon on lead and just destroying it with whatever offensive threats we have in the back. Because look at this. Magnet Reggie Lucky, Choice Band Urshifu. That's gross. That is absolutely gross. taking this time he's like oh man regigigas wheezing what is this i thought i thought only low lighter people use this well guess what i was wrong <laughs> if you're a good player i think regigigas wheezing can take you a, a, a long way but you can't expect it to carry you you know you can't expect it to just be like the solution to all your problems okay moltres garchomp that's actually the lead I want. Uh, I'm going to take this opportunity to delete Garchomp from the face of the earth. I'll just go ahead and Hailstorm, as well as uh, protect this guy. Because like I said, once Garchomp's gone, uh, Aleki kind of just goes in. All right, we Dynamax up. And the good thing about clicking Max Hailstorm here is that if he um, if he's Focus Sash, this will also break his Sash because we're setting up the Hail. And I'm assuming that's Moltres. I think he just gives me Garchomp here, which is really good. Yeah, he didn't protect. Awesome. Max Hailstorm, I outspeed his Garchomp, which means he's adamant nature. Bro, what? Alright, uh, the most problematic Pokemon on his team is just gone now, so I think we win. I think we just win. <laughs> There's the max airstream. He does get a bit of a speed boost. However, I think my game plan here is just not to give him weakness policy. I'll just keep clicking uh, max strike onto him to make sure my Regieleki always outspeeds. And that's probably a good game plan. Because I, I don't want to give him weakness policy. That's, that's the worst thing I could do here. As they send out Kartana. Alright, uh, that's not bad for me. I can try to get a KO on him. Go for the max strike on the Moltres. I'm kind of concerned about that Weezing might go down here. I'll try to will us the Kartana. As Kartana protects? Okay. Max Airstream. It's not doing too much. In fact, uh, now the Kartana is going to be slower. Oh no, he's not, because he's just going to be at neutral for because uh, of the uh, airstream. I mean, all that really matters is that I deal with this. Um, I deal with this Moltres in a way that allows me to. <laughs> um, oh wow, I just got the crit. I deal with this Moltres in a way that allows me to burn the Kartana. That's really what matters. In fact, I might just be able to protect twice here. And survive, because he's going to go down to hail chip damage now. 
Yeah, I, I think, what is it? he's got one more turn of Dynamax, and then he's just guaranteed to go down to Hail, because he can't reset the, the weather at all. I think my play here would be to, um, I mean, I need, I need to try to Max Strike, but I think regardless of what happens, I'm fine. I'll try to Max Guard here, and just Will-O-Wisp. Or I could even just try to go for the Sludge Bomb KO on a Moltres, that might be better. Yeah, because if I'm not going to lower his speed, uh, I need to remove the Moltres in the field. And then Magnet Regia Lucky probably can just clean up. Ooh, okay. As he makes the right call with the Max Airstream. Gets a critical hit. I don't think it mattered at that point since he was already at plus one. I do sub my Rotom Heat though. And since Dynamax ends this turn, I should be fine. Slow starts back. Sacred Sword goes into nothing. Yeah, one more turn of Hail Chip damage. So I'll just send in the Rotom and Protect, play it safe. And yes, there are two turns of Hail, so I should be fine to do that. Um, I should always protect the Rotom. To get uh, to like uh, let the Regigigas go down and then let my um, let my Aleki in for free. I think that's my play. How many speed boosts does Kartana have? Just one. I think I still outspeed it with Regi Aleki then. I'm not certain though. Yeah, we'll just let um, we'll just let this guy go down and we'll protect. I think he has to protect his Kartana too. Yeah. Which means he won't be getting a beast boost. And he's probably just going to go for Fiery Wrath. Which is fine. He's also not a Salt Vest Kartana, so he probably just gets one shot. Oh no, we lived. That's actually like the worst thing that could have happened. <laughs> Living with Regigigas is actually probably the worst possible outcome. Yeah, he still survives. Okay, at least he goes down next turn, I think, I hope. There's the Nihiligo. Oh no, this is this is not good. This is not good. Regardless of what happens, I think he gets a beast boost. That kind of sucks. Um, He should go for a rock move into the Rotom. I'm scared. I'm scared. Uh, I can try to high horsepower Nihiligo. And I think I try to get him Regieleki to eat one hit from it. And that's the best I can do. Because he's going to be going for the... Uh, he should go for like Sacred Sword plus Power Gem. Yep. He gets rid of Regigigas. I hope that Regieleki can take one not super effective hit. Oh no, it's Meteor Beam. No, we, we're dead. We're dead. <laughs> Tell me you're not Power Herb. No, he's Power Herb. Okay, good game. Good game. <laughs> we got messed up. Yeah, I think there was a chance had... um. There was a chance had my Regigigas gone down that previous turn, because I could have just gone for Electroweb into Thunderbolt, and that might have KO'd Nihiligo. Probably not, but it, I at least had a chance there. Because he would have had to choose who he wanted to knock out that turn, you know? We'll go ahead and forfeit here, <laughs> since we're probably just going to get messed up by Nihiligo. Or actually, no. Maybe. Nihiligo's forced to Sludge Bomb. No, I, I lose regardless. 
I'm not going to be able to KO it with uh with just Thunderbolts unless I get like a, mi a million paralysis, and that isn't worth it. So good game to my opponent. Alright, and we'll continue battling here. Get one more for the video. All right. Um, another team that just doesn't like this matchup. I can just lead off Regigigas wheezing once more. That's pretty much always the lead with this team. That's the funny part. Uh, Urshifu in the back doesn't look bad as long as I get a sufficient amount of max strikes off. And I think my last Pokemon has to be Rotom Heat. Yeah, I feel good about that. the lander zapdos lead now i want to get an early lead here i'm going to protect i'm just going to go for my hailstorm i don't think this zapdos is carrying tailwind hmm I think I should always just go for the, the Max Hailstorm into Zapdos, though, just in case it is. As their Zapdos is faster, that can't be the Landris, because that would imply that <laughs> that, that would imply that Landris' base speed is higher than Regigigas. Alright, so I think we made the right call. As long as it's not, uh, as long as it's not, like, um, weakness policy, I think we're fine. Or no, that's a speed tie, because Zapdos is base 100. And I'm jolly max speed, so next turn I do have a possibility of going faster, granted they didn't max airstream. Maybe I should have just gone for the max strike. That would have made more sense. I was hoping they wouldn't dynamax it though. Which is why I went for the hailstorm. Max Airstream into Regigigas. That's actually fine, because I do have the Focus Sash on Weezing. As he has Life Orb, better than Weakness Policy, thank you. Yeah, Max Strike would have been better there. Oh, we have once again forced a situation where it's about hail damage. That's kind of funny. And my focus sash is now gone, so that's a little bit annoying. I can max guard here, though. Do I give up Regigigas? I mean, his Landris now is a speed boost, which is a bit problematic, but he's still within range of Sucker Punch. Hmm. I can try to Will-O-Wisp and go for my Max Guard and hope that that's enough. Yeah, Max Strike would have been so much better there. Max Airstream goes into Protect. Earthquake, hopefully my Weezing can take it from this range. I mean, Weezing's pretty physically bulky. Nah, not quite. <laughs> I was gonna say, that felt like a critical hit. There's no way it should have dropped that fast. Pressure's back up, slow start's back up. And they should go down at the end of the next turn. So I think my play here is just going to Rotom.
they likely have rock slide as the thing, so I don't want to go for, you know, earthquake. Or I don't want to go for a nasty plot. I think I should just protect and let nature take its course with that thing. Because I'm pretty certain Landris is in range of Sucker Punch. I'll protect here. I might have freaked this game, man. Let me go for the Max Strike on the Landers for damage. Or, mm, I should just Hailstorm. What am I saying? Going for Max Strike. As the Airstream. Makes sense. Hopefully he's within Sucker Punch range, because that Choice Band Sucker Punch is what's really going to matter here. And we can see if he has Rock Slide as well. Yep, there's the Rock Slide. I mean, it shouldn't knock me out. I could try to go for a Nasty Plot here and just Wicked Blow. Mm. They also have an Urshifu. That's kind of an issue. Here's how I play this one out. <laughs> I have to hope that my Overheat's enough to KO their Urshifu, and I have to hope that my Sucker Punch is enough to KO their Landorus. And then I have to hope that whatever they have in the back is something that doesn't like Rotom. Let's do it. No, it's not. <laughs> As he goes for the Rock Slide, Rotom avoids. That's pretty clutch, I suppose. And he's just going to go for close combat. Oh no, he Wicked Blows. Okay. So I get another one of these. I get another chance at life. Get my berry. Okay, there's a chance. There's a chance. I have to always sucker punch his Urshifu, though. And I think I also have to attack with my Rotom is the annoying part. Because if he goes for sucker punch... No, he shouldn't sucker punch my Rotom. He should never do that. Let me sucker punch the Urshifu. Hope that he just goes for a regular Wicked Blow. This Protect isn't for the, his Urshifu, it's for his Landorus. Oh. Oh. So this is what we've come to. Well, he knows how to prevent me from being able to attack, just as I know how to prevent him from being able to attack. I think my play here is to Nasty Plot and Sucker Punch his Landorus now. This is such an awkward endgame. I'm surprised he Sucker Punched, to be honest. Let's see if he went for Sucker Punch as well. Nah, he close combated. I could have had him there. Yeah, good game to my opponent. He ended up winning the mind game. I'm trying to think, is there any way out of this, really? Not not really. I suppose I can try to protect, and maybe by some miracle, he's running Misty Explosion and I just win. <laughs> I don't think Tapu Fini even gets it, though. Yeah, Wicked Blow. Makes sense. No reason to protect, really. Alright, good game to my opponent. Uh, I just had to Sucker Punch their Urshifu, and I would have won there, I think. But I was hoping that he would try to lock me out. Alright, so that's three games. Unfortunately, I only won one game today. 
out of the three. Uh, but I still think that this is a pretty solid team. I mean, like, Alex literally went 5-0 in Players' Cup. Uh, I think with more practice, I would have been able to pull off some more wins. But with that, I'm going to call it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Do me a favor, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.